Hello students, I hope you all are doing well. So welcome back to Microbial Concepts and today we are going to discuss about catalase and oxidase test which we perform while enzyme, for enzyme detection while we are doing our biochemical test for identification of a culture. Okay, so you have this for your practicals and you get questions in your vivas as well. So get your concepts clear now. So let's start. So enzyme detection in biochemical test. So enzyme systems are unique to each organism. Okay. Not each and every enzyme is present in each and every culture of the known microbes. Okay. It doesn't happen. So the presence of an enzyme provides an ability to a microbe to perform a particular reaction. And thus that is how they are adapted or they have a special ability of say degradation or production of a particular compound etc. Thus these enzymes can be used in differentiation and identification of given test cultures. What are these enzyme tests that we generally perform? So catalase, oxidase, urease, gelatinase, lipase, protease, amylase. These are the enzyme detection tests that we perform in our biochemical test okay for so now let's start with catalase as we are going to cover catalase and oxidase in this particular video. So what is the aim here? So aim is to detect the ability of organism to produce the catalase enzyme and let us differentiate between catalase positive and negative bacteria. So catalase enzyme is a common enzyme that is found in all living beings and that survive in oxygen and catalyzes the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide releasing water and oxygen. So this second point is very important at, as it gives the uh, principle in short, okay, principle behind this test. So catalase is an essential enzyme in pathogenic organism as it protects the organism from oxidative damage, okay, from the reactive oxygen species, ROS, what we write in short. Okay. So the enzyme, it neutralizes the bactericidal effect of hydrogen peroxidase and its concentration in bacteria has been correlated with the pathogenicity of the organism. Okay. Now we will just focus on hydrogen peroxide reaction. Now the hydrogen peroxide is toxic to bacterial cells as it destroys the cell wall. Okay. This process is called oxidation because the compounds oxygen atoms, they are very reactive and they attract or still the electrons from the bacterial cell wall and thus it causes damage to the cell wall. So what does the bacteria uh, or what bacteria came up as a defense mechanism is the enzyme catalase. So what does this enzyme does? It breaks down the hydrogen peroxide to water and oxygen and thus it, sells, it saves uh, itself from getting damaged. Now about the principle. The metabolic activity of aerobic and facultative anaerobic microorganisms produce toxic byproducts like hydrogen peroxide and superoxide radicals. Okay, So these are the metabolic end products which are produced in the cell but they are toxic. The, uh, byproducts are also toxic to that particular cell and even it might result in the cell lysis if they are not broken. So in such cases, these organism or pathogenic organism, uh, different mechanisms are found to break down these products to non-toxic sub substances. Now bacteria which are capable of synthesizing the enzyme catalase hydrolyze the hydrogen peroxide into water and gaseous oxygen which results in the liberation of gas bubbles and that is what we uh, observe or we try to observe and interpret while we do our biochemical test. So catalase, it protects the organism against the lethal effect of hydrogen peroxide which is accumulated at the end of the aerobic met metabolism. The presence of catalase can be demonstrated by adding hydrogen peroxide to bacterial inoculum which results in the rapid liberation of oxygen bubbles. The lack of enzyme is demonstrated by the absence of bubbles. Why bubbles? Because in this reaction oxygen is released. Now what are the requirements and procedures? So mainly you need 
a clean glass slide okay and a sterile wooden or glass stick to pick up your test culture now hydrogen peroxide reagents so 30% is used for nigeria 15% for anaerobes and generally in our college labs we use 3% of hydrogen peroxide for other bacteria okay now there are two methods one is slide method and another one is test tube method so you can follow any of it both gives similar results okay so first is slide method so a glass slide is placed inside a petri plate uh, the use of petri dish is to eliminate the catalase aerosols which might carry some viable bacterial cells okay so to avoid cross contamination you take a glass glass slide in a petri dish okay which you can cover with the lid of petri dish so a small amount of organism is collected from a well isolated 18 to 24 hours of colony with a sterile inoculating loop or sterile toothpick or any gla glass stick okay and it is placed on your slide no agar must be picked okay because agar contains depending on your uh, media composition it may contain some chemicals which can interfere with your results so try to pick only your colony and uh, agar must not be picked especially when the culture is been picked from blood agar okay now add one to two drops of 3% hydrogen peroxide onto your culture or organism on the slide by using dropper or a pasha pipette pipette the formation of bubbles is observed against a dark, dark background to enhance the readability okay so you should see some gas bubbles as you drop your to one to two drops of hydrogen peroxide okay so this is the slide method so no bubbles means catalase negative and presence of bubbles means catalase positive now in case of tube method so this is the tube method so take about 4 to 5 drops of hydrogen peroxide in a test tube okay then using a wooden applicator or stick you pick up a small amount of organism from a well isolated 18 to 24 hours colony to uh, that is collected and it is placed in your test tube now remember when you are performing biochemical test your culture should be fresh okay well isolated well grown plate should be chosen and the incubation period should be not more than 24 hours why because the culture is fresh all the um, enzymes are uh, present in your cell culture and uh, as it is in lock phase you will get good results okay and that's the reason you should always choose a well isolated fresh colony plate or culture plate now once the culture is added to your test tube the tube is placed against a dark background and observe for immediate bubbles okay so no bubbles means catalase negative and presence of bubbles means catalase positive right so about the interpretation so this is how you should observe the rapid bubbling or uh, effervescence you can see so the interpretations are as follows the positive test is demonstrated by the immediate appearance of bubbles and the appearance of one or two bubbles is represented as a weak reaction and negative re negative test is represented by no bubbles or a few bubbles but after some time that is say 20 seconds now some examples if you get question in your viva about give some examples of catalyst positive uh, organisms or catalyst positive cultures then Staphylococcus aureus, Syracia, Marsicins, Listeria, Micrococcus, Pseudomonas, these are some catalyst positive cultures. And catalyst negative is Streptococcus and Enterococcus. Now about oxidase enzyme. Okay, so first we have covered catalyst. Now let's focus on oxidase. So aim is to determine the ability of organism to produce cytochrome oxidase enzyme. Now, what is cytochrome oxidase enzyme? So, it is an enzyme from electron transport chain. Okay. So, mostly organisms which have oxidase enzyme, they are aerobic. Now, in case of catalase, it was aerobic and facultative anaerobes. Okay. So, oxidase positive bacteria possesses cytochrome oxidase 
or endophenol oxidase and ion chelating hemoprotein now these both catalyze the transport of electron from donor compound that is nadh to electron acceptor that is oxygen so what is the role of this enzyme they catalyze the transport of electrons from donor compound that is nadh to acceptor that is oxygen now about the principle so cytochrome c oxidase is the terminal or last hydrogen electron acceptor in the aerobic respiratory mechanism which is uh, yeah which is composed of a number of enzymes that alternatively oxidize and reduce each other by donating or accepting electrons which are derived from oxygen oh, sorry hydrogen okay so it is information about the cytochrome c oxidase it is the terminal electron acceptor which is composed of number of enzymes that alternatively oxidize and reduce each other by donating and accepting the electron so that is the chain uh, or we can say the transfer of electron is going on which results in oxidation and reduction of each other by donating and accepting electrons in a chain okay so the ability of a bacteria to produce the cytochrome c oxidase is determined by using the reagent so name of the reagent here is very important as it is big so remember tetramethyl p phenylin diamine dihydrochloric hydrochloride okay which is impregnated on a filter disc the reagent serves as a artificial substrate which is donating electrons and thereby becoming oxidized to a deep purple compound in the presence of oxy enzyme oxidase okay and free oxygen so development of pink and then maroon and finally dark purple coloration after rubbing the organism in the on the disc oxidase disc containing the reagent indicates the positive reaction so what is this reagent so this reagent is actually a artificial substrate which is donating electrons and it is getting oxidized and thus your uh, what reagent it turns the color change is seen as it turns the color to dark purple okay so that is how the presence of enzyme is detected so the positive reaction involves the conversion of colorless reagent to the reduced form that is tetramethyl p phenyl diamine to oxidize form to deep purple color in the presence of cytochrome c oxidase no color change is indicative of the negative test result so what are the reagents that one can use so covax reagent is where 1% tetramethyl p phenyl diamine dichloride uh, dihydrochloride in water is one that you can use or gordon macleod's reagent then gabi and hadley's endophenol oxidase reagent where 1% alpha naphthol in 95% ethanol and 1% uh, para amino dimethyl aniline in hcl so you can use any of these so you can see here so these are the disc which are impregnated with the dye or uh, not dye the reagent and once you streak or you spot your culture on this particular disc and if it has cytochrome oxidase um, cytochrome c oxidase enzyme present then you will get a dark purple color developed okay so this is oxidase positive pseudomonas aeruginosa and oxidase negative e coli so that's how the difference is made depending on the color that is developed now some examples so oxidase positive organisms that is pseudomonas nizeria uh, alkaligens aeromonas campylobacter vibrio brucella pastorella moraxella helicobacter pyroli legionella etc and oxidase negative are enterobacteria c like e coli now about the procedures so procedure is simple so take a filter paper soaked with the substrate or the reagent that is tetramethyl p phenyl uh, phenylene diamine dihydrochloride then moisten the paper with sterile distilled water pick the colony to be tested by a wooden or platinum loop and smear 
in on the filter paper okay now observe inoculated area of the paper for color change to deep blue or purple within 10 to 30 seconds okay it the uh, time should not be more than 10 to 30 seconds or what you can do take a commercially available oxidized disc okay they are also commercially available and you can just take that particular uh, commercially available disc containing the reagent then you inoculate your um, test culture on it or you can rub it on the disc and wait for 10 seconds to observe the color change so this is how the oxidase test is performed you take pick up the bacterial culture you apply it or rub it on the oxidase disc and wait for 10 seconds to see the color change okay so positive test is interpreted as development of blue deep blue to purple color in 10 seconds and no color change or absence of color means it is negative for oxidase okay so this was all about catalase and oxidase test that we perform in our biochemical reactions so i hope the concept is clear the principle behind both the test is clear and i hope you like my videos so give a thumbs up do share my videos with your friends and do subscribe my channel thank you